Many different types of objects can be used in books, including cube views, visualizations, and graphic widgets. These are the objects that I'll be using in this video. Starting at the home page, clicking Menu, New, and Book, an empty book opens. Books contain tab pages. A tab can be renamed by clicking it, selecting Edit the Title, and typing the name. Additional tabs can be added by clicking the plus sign. You can add content to your books from Planning Analytics databases, Watson deployments, pinned visualizations, visualizations you create in the book, and widgets. These choices are along the left side of the book. Clicking the widget icon, the text widget is dragged onto the book and text is added. Grabbing a resize point, the widget can be resized. Selecting the text, the color can be changed and underline can be applied to the text. I could have also changed the font and made the text bold or applied italics. Selecting the database icon and expanding 24 retail cubes income statement, I'm ready to add a cube view to the book. Right clicking income statement, add new view is one way to add a cube view to the book. Alternatively, when Views is expanded, a list of views that have been created and saved is shown. After dragging Analysis onto the book, it will open. Selecting the cube view, I can move it around the book to reposition it. I can also select columns and rows and change their sizing as well. To add a visualization to the book, I make sure the cube view is selected and I click the duplicate icon. Then I can expand the view that I just duplicated. To define data that will be used in the visualization, I select two rows. Right mouse click and select keep. Next I'm going to change my column selection. The last thing I'm going to do is click the swap rows and columns icon. I'm now going to collapse the cube view and position it on my book. Making sure that the cube view is still selected, after clicking Exploration, I see the visualizations that are available to me. I'm going to use Line and Column. With the visualization still selected, I'm going to click on Fields. This shows me the visualization slots and the data being used. When I click on Properties, I see the visualization's Color Palette, Legend, Axis, and Chart Properties. To save the book, Click the Save icon. The book can be saved in a shared or personal folder. Contents of the shared folder are visible to other Planning Analytics users. Contents of the personal folder are visible just to you. Clicking Personal, I'm going to use a folder that I created earlier called Video Series. Giving the book a name. and then I click Save. Notice the name in the picker has been updated. I can close this book from the picker. A book can be opened by clicking Reports and Analysis on the home page. And then I navigate to where it was saved. This completes the video on how to create a book.